A magnetic personality wasn't enough to track people to this interesting game. But let's try it one more time with Super Magnetic Neo. Super Magnetic Neo is a 3D platforming game developed by Genki and published by Crave Entertainment for the Dreamcast on February 3rd, 2000 in Japan and then internationally months later. It's a game that did decently on release but sadly had its ports for the GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox that were planned for 2002 cancelled. I loved this game when I was younger, but looking back at it now I see it as Sega's attempt to bring a Crash Pandicoot type of mascot to the Dreamcast lineup. But let's leave that in the past and focus on the present, so let's jump into the story and make sense of the journey ahead. The story of Super Magnetic Neo is all about the evil Pinky Gang trying to steal Pow Pow Park from the Professor, who activates his robot Neo to stop them. Neo's journey takes him across multiple worlds with varying themes as he journeys to defeat the Pinky Gang and save Pow Pow Park. Super Magnetic Neo will run you around 7 hours to complete, which is a pretty good amount of time for your old school 3D platforming games. Not too long and not too short. But with that said, let's jump into the graphics and see how the Dreamcast handled our magnetic robotic friend. The graphics for Super Magnetic Neo look decent for its time. I'm sure there were better out there, but it lends to the cartoony style the game has and Neo's design, along with the Pinky Gang, are simplistic enough to work with the wackiness of the story and the world you explore. The designs for the world you explore are nice and varied, and the monster designs are pretty neat, though sometimes I run into worlds and they feel empty with not much going on. Not too big of a problem, but it would have been nice to have fuller worlds is all. Still, Super Magnetic Neo looks pretty good, so let's listen to what the audio has to offer. The music Super Magnetic Neo sports is very flexible and I enjoy this a lot. It's a very odd mix where every piece of music matches the theme of the world it's in, while at the same time mixing an electronic vibe with most of the tracks as well. Some are pretty cheery. Professor, Professor, we have an emergency! What are you babbling on about, PD? Can't you see I'm in the middle of mixing up my secret bongo bongo noodle recipe? Professor, Professor, this is no time for noodles! The Pinky Gang is back! Hmm, this is the perfect opportunity to test my latest and greatest invention, Super Magnetic Neo! While some make me feel like I'm in a techno club. It's a very unique experience and I highly recommend it so you can have some variety in your music once in a while. The voice acting for this game is really quirky and well done, with the exception of Neo who sounds very off to me. It is I, Neo, on my way to beat the bad guys! Hey, wait! You even know where you're going? Overall, Super Magnetic Neo gives us a unique audio experience that I feel needs to be experienced at least once in your life. So with that said, let's wrap it up with the gameplay and see what the whole package has to offer. The gameplay for Super Magnetic Neo is similar to 3D platformers of the past like Crash and Spyro. You run, you jump, and you reach the end and that's it. So what sets this apart from your typical 3D platformer? Neo has powers of magnetism on his side. You have your positive and negative fields that are color coded red and blue accordingly. This sets up the game for some unique gameplay such as force pushing enemies away or pulling them in and turning them into a cube that you can use to hurl at enemies or obstacles to help you progress. You even have strange floating cable like things that you can use your magnet powers to grab hold of to help you reach new platforms. 
The physics of the game even make you feel a bit like a pro when you launch yourself farther in order to reach certain platforms or to get to the end faster. You also have a dash to help speed things up, but it's so hard to steer that you might end up falling into bottomless pits if you're not careful. The game also sports collectibles with some coins, lives, and hidden items that make use of your Dreamcast VMU to help you locate them. I love this aspect of the game and it really makes me miss those old small hardware peripherals like the visual memory unit which really makes some games much more immersive and fun in the process. Overall, Super Magnetic Neo is a pretty platformer with some unique techniques. Super Magnetic Neo is a decent game for Dreamcast's early life that introduced unique mechanics and some pretty wacky moments in the story. It would be very interesting to see how a remade Super Magnetic Neo game would look like, especially if they redesigned the character and added some flair to him. Thank you guys for another fantastic episode of Under Radar, and I'll see you on the next one.